Everyone wishes they could spend a few days relaxing on the island of their dreams. But there are some islands that are not your typical vacation spots. As the most dangerous islands in the world, these places are anything but serene and tranquil. The Karnak Island might only be 47 acres, but don't be fooled by its small size, because it's a downright deadly place. Lying right off the west coast of Australia, almost every inch is riddled with poisonous tiger snakes. These reptiles not only possess deadly venom that can be fatal to humans, but have a mysterious past. No one understands how the snakes got to the island in the first place. Rumor has it that a man named Lindsay Rocky Vane collected tiger snakes for years only to abandon them all on the island. But the history of Karnak Island just gets creepier when you go further back in time. In 1838, the island was established as a prison for three indigenous Australians. The trio eventually escaped only to be replaced by the poisonous snakes. Tiger snakes do not have any natural predators on the island, making them one of the most dangerous animals to be reckoned with. An abundance of seagulls inhabit the island as well, giving the reptiles an endless supply of easy prey. However, there are times when seagulls can peck out the snake's eyes, blinding them. When this happens, tiger snakes can still rely on their keen sense of smell in order to hunt and survive. When humans are bitten, they have about a 40-60% to 60 survival rate and often go through symptoms like numbness, sweating, paralysis, and other nasty symptoms. When you think of Italy, we are sure that a certain few things come to mind. Breathtaking museums of art, expensive cars, maybe even a mouth-watering aroma of pizza. There is another key aspect of Italy that often goes unaddressed, and that is its many active volcanoes. Stromboli is a small island in the Tyrrhenian Sea, which can be found off the north coast of Sicily, which holds the fiery and very active Mount Stromboli, one of three dangerous active volcanoes in Italy. Volcanic eruptions are an everyday occurrence on the island, earning its nickname as the Lighthouse of the Mediterranean, due to the constant explosions that can be seen from miles away. For the past 5,000 years, the volcano has continued to spew lava and ash to warn all potential visitors to stay away. Some have tried to conquer Mount Stromboli, but all of them face the fierce wrath of the volcano. In July of 2019, a hiker was defeated by the volcano during his trip to the island. You do not want to mess with Mount Stromboli, and you definitely do not want to take a trip to this island. Some of the world's islands are so hazardous that they are completely banned from travel. And while San Francisco may be part of a sunny California, something dangerous lies just 28 miles off its coast. The Farallon Islands, or more commonly referred to as the Devil's Teeth, are a collection of jagged rocks that make up the island that are very sharp and deadly by themselves. But it's the hungry lurking sharks that really turn the area from scary to terrifying. But there is even more to fear underneath the water surface aside from hungry sharks. The island is located at the largest offshore nuclear waste dump in the entire United States. Almost 50,000 drums of radioactive waste were poured directly into the area in the mid-1900s after being used for radioactive experiments there as well. The choppy waters near the island have swallowed those who have dared to trespass, including the poor inhabitants of a yacht named the Low Speed Chase in April of 2012. Just being near this island is enough to kill you. That last island might be enough to give you the shivers, but this next island is just something else. Dead Man's Island is located in Kent, United Kingdom, and is something straight out of a nightmare. The skeletons of over 200 men can be found all over the island. Researchers believe that the remains belong to prisoners who passed from contagious diseases many centuries ago. The reason they ended up here is because the prisoners were usually on boats. When someone perished from disease, the island would be used as a burial ground. If you were to visit the island now, it would be like walking onto a horror film set. Hundreds of skeletons have started to pop up all across the island. The weather has eroded the bones, making them look really scary. The island is closed off to the public, but certain research groups can visit it. Each time one of these groups goes, people always note how horrific or impactful the experience was for them. 
The scariest part is that nearly all of the people that lay on the island were convicted back in the 18th century for petty crimes such as pickpocketing. This island may be one of the few on the list inhabited by people, but that does not make it any less dangerous. Eniwetak Atoll is a large coral atoll consisting of 40 islands located on a circular-shaped coral reef in the Pacific Ocean. It was under Japan's control until 1944 when it was taken by United States troops. The nuclear testing sites on the island was used to detonate over 40 nuclear weapons. On Runet Island, a concrete dome was built to cover hazardous nuclear waste in an attempt to contain the radiation and danger it emitted. Although inhabitants were relocated from Runet Island prior to the atomic testing, the communities have recently begun returning to the homes. As sea levels rise, water leaching into the dome has caused hazardous material to leak. Now the island is inhabited by almost 700 people despite having an area of fewer than 4 miles. All of them risk the threat of radioactive poisoning. While the population of Eniwetak Atoll has been peaceful towards tourists, visitors would not be so lucky if they took a trip to North Sentinel Island. The island is part of the Andaman Islands in the Bay of Bengal, and with beautiful white sand beaches, it seems like a paradise. However, the Sentinelese people that call the land home are what makes this island so frightening. No one knows exactly what the population of the island is, but it is believed that there could be at least 500 very aggressive natives who live on the island, and they're not friendly to outsiders. They have remained on the island for decades, and as one of the last tribes to be completely isolated from modern civilization, are not immune to disease from the outside. That is why the island natives not only reject visitors, but have gone as far as to attack anyone who trespasses on their territory. In 2006, after two fishermen were attacked for just approaching the island, Indian authorities announced that they will not prosecute the Sentinelese people for the fatality they caused. They have continued to protect their island, quickly dispatching an unlucky American missionary in 2018. No one except for the natives themselves are safe on North Sentinel Island. We never would have guessed that Italy would be home to so many deadly places. But an island located in the Venetian lagoon, known as Poveglia, proved us wrong. The land was used by the Romans to isolate those who became sick with the bubonic plague during the late Middle Ages. As the people perished, more and more were sent to the island over the years. Eventually, a mental hospital was built on the island so doctors could use torturous methods and perform lobotomies on their patients before they met their unfortunate fate. Just like the previously mentioned Dead Man's Island, something spooky is definitely going on in Povelia. When the crew of Ghost Adventures arrived on the island, even those of us who don't believe in evil spirits could see this place is very haunted. The creepy voices and scary screams recorded spoke for themselves, which is why the government actually forbids visitors to the island, which has an area less than one-tenth of a kilometer. Yet its history is scary enough to keep us away. Is this place really haunted by ghosts from the past? We'll let you decide. There is probably nothing more dangerous than living on an island that was created by a fiery volcano. Miyakijima is a volcanic island in the Philippine Sea near Japan, which the inhabitants of the land refer to as Gas Mask Town. Mount Oyama's eruptions have spewed molten lava, created powerful earthquakes, and even released toxic clouds of sulfur dioxide into the air on the island. After a particularly intense eruption in 2000, the residents of Miyakijima were forced to move to Japan for the next five years. Although the population was eventually permitted to return, they are now required to carry gas masks whenever they leave their homes. This is actually a law, and the second that a tourist arrives on the island, they are immediately met with various options of masks to purchase. With up to 42,000 tons of sulfur dioxide continuing to leak from Mount Oyama every day, the people of the island are taking a serious risk by living there. After investigating another island off the coast of Brazil, we found out that there is, in fact, another island with a snake infestation just like Karnak Island. 
Ilya Shikimanda Granji's only inhabitant is a population of absolutely deadly golden lancehead pit vipers. It is estimated that there are 4,000 of these venomous serpents slithering around their island home, encouraging Brazilians to name the land Snake Island. It was once connected to Brazil, but rising sea levels over 10,000 years ago actually created the separate island where the venomous snakes live. A single bite from one of these vipers can be fatal to even the strongest human being in under one hour. The government has banned anyone from entering the area, stationing the navy near the island to make sure no one even approaches it. With all those venomous snakes, we don't know why anyone would even think twice about staying far away from this place. Ramri Island, which lies near the coast of Burma, has a different type of ferocious and threatening reptile, crocodiles. It is known in history for the epic and bizarre crocodile battle that took place at the end of the Second World War. In hopes of escaping the British troops, Japanese soldiers crossed a mangrove swamp only to find that the waters were overrun by these hungry saltwater crocodiles. They were no match for the mighty strength of the thousand-pound creatures and were eaten alive. This is officially deemed to be the deadliest crocodile attack in history according to the Guinness Book of World Records. 1,000 troops entered the swamp, but less than 500 soldiers made it to the other side. However, the survivors didn't live much longer than their fallen comrades since dehydration and disease eventually took them over. But there might be another island with a reptile problem. What about Crocodile Island? An island in the Philippines that is shaped like a crocodile? Could this be another homeland for the hungry reptiles to lure? Well, a bright side to the dangerous island in this video, it turns out that the area is anything but dangerous. Tourists from all over the world travel here to enjoy snorkeling and scuba diving in the beautiful blue waters. The crystal clear ocean means that you can even watch the marine animals swim right next to you. 